Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we have a review that I'm super excited for. Uh, and you might be wondering, why is Gideon so excited? It's just a Kershaw Atmos. Well, number one, rude. Number two, um, what, am I not allowed to be happy? And number three, I do not think anyone should ever say it's just a Kershaw Atmos. This knife has been around for a while, I know. But this is my first time handling it, and... I gotta say, I've been really impressed. Um, yeah, so that hopefully that comes across in this uh, video. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it with our blade length measurement. We're coming in here just a little bit over three inches, call it three and a quarter, right around there in that ballpark. It is over three inches if that's a uh, legal question for you. Get our get out our size comparisons. There's a rat two. There's the rat one. Yeah, not a very big knife at all. Um, let's go ahead and bring out our Spyderco PM2 and the bug out. Again, not a big knife. And uh, bring out our Civivis. One and two. And let's go ahead and do I have any Kershaws with me? I have, yeah, yeah, okay. Here it is against the bare knuckle. And I do not have this knife uh, with me currently. Um, but I do have some pictures of this compared against a Kershaw fraction. Uh, these knives are very similar in a lot of ways, so I'll throw up some images of that. Uh, that Kershaw fraction actually belongs to my little brother. It's a knife I got a long time ago for the channel. I gave it to him. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably put in some uh, a little bit of video that I took of he and I talking about knives. Um, yeah, so let's get into this. This is a Sinkovich design, which you can tell it's, it looks very Sinkovich-y. Um, materials here, we've got G10 with the carbon fiber sticker, steel liner lock, steel pocket clip. We have an 8CR13 blade. Yeah, right, I know, it's it's nothing great. I'm gonna wipe that off. But, there's so much about this knife that just makes it punch way above its, uh, its pay grade. I did not expect to like this knife as much as I do. I know, I've heard people talk about this knife forever and say that it's really good, but I love this knife. I absolutely love this knife. I know, spoilers. But anyways, before we get too far into that, let's go ahead and give a big thank you to Knife Candy who sent this to the channel. I really appreciate it. Without him, I probably would never have taken a look at this knife. So thank you a lot, man. We all appreciate it. And if you see him in the comments, tell him thank you. Without any further ado or rambling, let's go and get on to some cutting footage and uh, all that good stuff. So here's our Kershaw Atmos, designed by Sinkovich. And this is my brother's Kershaw Fraction, which is an Anzo design. But very similar knives, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like basically a different color, and this one has a more Tanto-ish style blade. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think about the, the flipping action on that one? This is a lot better than on this You like one. that one better? Yeah, I think the flip action is better. Interesting. I actually like the flipper tab on this one better. I think it's angled a little more appropriately. I don't know. I feel like this one flips better. That one works better for you? Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. They're about the same size. I thought this one was a little bit bigger, but this knife's actually a little bit bigger than I remember it being. They're both pretty small knives, not, uh, not super large to begin with, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Very nice little budget offerings from Kershaw. I am a big fan of both of these. And now this one lives in your toolbox. Oh, yeah, I keep it. <laughs> All right, cool deal. All righty, guys. Today we're talking about the Kershaw um, Atmos, right? Atmos? Yes. Yes, I believe that's the name of this knife. I had a little bit of a brain fart there for a second. 
Um, yeah, pretty cool knife. Let's go ahead and start in on it. How's the action? Really good. Really, really dang good. Uh, I do have a couple of issues with the flipper tab. I personally don't like the way it's angled. Um, I can sometimes, because that flipper tab, I sometimes miss a flip. But, you know, if I'm paying attention to what I'm doing, I'll get it every time, right? Not a big deal. Um, it is on KVT ball bearings. The closing action, very smooth. They do have the detent dialed excellently. Kershaw does a fantastic uh, manual action. Uh, I think they're kind of underrated. They, they really do um, provide some of the best action that you can get, in my opinion, at least. They are really good at what they do. Um, let's talk about the ergonomics. Small knife, Singovich design, actually fits in my hand really well. Uh, the jimping up here is perfect, like perfect jimping. Wouldn't change a thing. And even though I can just barely get four fingers on here, I can get four fingers. And uh, the shape of the handle is pretty ergonomic. I do feel the clip. Um, I do feel a clip in my hand, but, um, you know, I don't th think this is a knife that anyone would really want to push down really hard with, right? So um, the ergonomics are, are really good. Let's go ahead and talk about the carry. It's a small knife, right? Small knife. It does have a reversible clip, which is awesome. Deep carry clip that's inset to the scale. Screws are not inset. That's okay. But, yeah, it disappears in your pocket. You can get down in there and reach around. It's unobtrusive. It tucks away in the back. The clip is okay. It's lightweight. I don't... I don't foresee anyone having any real issues with it. Okay, let's go ahead and get some cutting done, shall we? Uh, you know what, we've got this little piece here. Oh man. <laughs> so we have a hollow ground 8CR13 MOV blade and uh, It works perfectly. Sorry about that, a little bit of an interruption. Um, but yeah, this blade, this blade cuts really, really dang well. Like, holy crap. I've been eating seeing this around the apartment, around, uh, you know, just carrying it day to day. And I have been using it to its fullest potential. I have not. <laughs> Sorry again. Um, but what I was saying was I have not been using this knife to its fullest potential. Apparently I've been using it for small things, you know, opening packages some blister packs, um, strings, things like that. I used it one night to, I made some quesadillas and then I had this in my pocket. I was like, you know, let's use this quesadillas. Um, but wow, that is so much slicier than I was expecting. And I mean, I know like it's almost a full hollow grind on here. It's almost a full hollow grind. So I guess that makes sense. But man, I've been limiting myself with this guy. Uh, that is way slicier than I would have expected. I think it's just because it's a small knife. You know, you expect that, at least for me, at least we have a small, a uh, short, narrow blade. You don't expect to be the best cutter, the best slicer, right? This thing is... Like, I'm super impressed. I, I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, yeah. That's really, really cool. Okay, but enough enough of that. Let's let's keep going with our uh, with our cutting before we get interrupted again. All right. We're going to give this guy another go. Well, hot dang. It did really, it did really stinking well at that, too. Wow. This little knife is actually surprising me quite a bit. I'm, I am impressed. I am impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, 
get over to our pool noodle. I'm gonna try and go super thin and see if this knife will handle it. Oh my gosh. Guys, guys, that is, <sighs> that felt amazing. This knife overall might, this might be one of the top performers that I've tested this year. I am real. I'm, <laughs> all right, look, I don't normally pause this often during review cutting, I am just really, really impressed. I bet I could even go thinner. I bet I could even go thinner. Guys, it's... It's cutting like a razor. Like, I have had Civivis that were not ground this good. I honestly, I am in shock. I am in shock. Um, I don't have a behind the edge measurement. Woo, little dust doggy just went by. I don't have a behind the edge reading uh, for this. But I did not expect to do this good, especially since the sharpening from the factory is not perfect. They're, they don't have a really good plunge grind here, so it kind of wiggled over here. But man, up here. <sighs> it's performing really, really dang good. I'm going to start using this uh, for my EDC. I'm going to start trying to put it through some uh, some more varied tasks than I have been. Yeah. Okay, you know what? We need to get back to the table. <laughs> but yeah, there's the knife. I'm pretty darn impressed. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's get back to the table. Alrighty guys, we're back. Talking about what I'm liking and not liking about the Kershaw Atmos. Number one, it's a good looking knife. It's a very attractive knife, and there's a lot of things that make it look more expensive than it is. Yeah, the shiny carbon fiberness, and eh, that kind of helps. Having the overlay on top of the G10 looks good. I like the look of the pivot. Um, I also like this little, how the G10 is kind of milled away right here. We've got kind of that swell in the G10. It makes it look very premium for some reason. It, it just, it really does elevate the, the knife quite a bit. So I like it. Again, that pivot looks really, really good. I love that the design is the same on both sides. That's really nice. Um, yeah, it's just a, just a good looking knife. We've got kind of a straight back blade here. Um, maybe the ever so slight of a clip or drop down there. But yeah, really, really good looking knife. Um, the blade itself, the satin finish is actually really, really good. Let's go ahead and get a close up on here. Nice satin finish. I love the swedges up here. Looks really, really nice. Zoom in on that texture for that G10. Come on, camera. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Yeah. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Next thing, the ergonomics. This is a small knife. This is not a big knife. You can see here I almost am out of hand. But man, for a small knife, it's very comfortable. The clip does not bother me in the hand at all. This jimping up here is perfect. This is the kind of jimping that I am always crying for other companies to start putting on their knives. Fantastic texture. It's very grabby, but it's not aggressive. It's not painful. It's just perfect. Um, the knife, overall, it's comfortable. It's locked in. Um, am I going to call it an ergonomic masterpiece? No. Um, it, I, I mean, typically knives that are bigger will have better ergonomics, but this is really good, especially for the size knife. This is very, very good. Um, I did say I couldn't feel the clip. I can feel the clip a little bit back here if I really bear down, but it's not enough to um, 
really, uh, really make me complain. Let's talk about this blade because this blade is really nice. Look how thin we get out there towards that tip. Very nice and slicey. And the blade has basically a full hollow grind. And it cuts like a laser beam. I mentioned this in the cutting footage. I'm gonna go over it again. While I was carrying this knife, I was just using it for, you know, small tasks. I cut a couple of strings. I think I cut some tomatoes, some little cherry tomatoes one night just because. Um, I was really underestimating the performance that I was gonna get out of this knife. And after I did the review cutting, that I did the review cutting about two weeks ago from the time I'm filming this video. In that time, I have gone out of my way to carry this knife and use it a lot. And I have been very impressed. It has cut very, very well. Um, and the sliciness, you know, I, I think I was worried about the 8CR losing an edge um, very quickly. But the, the way this, not, this blade is done, um, even when the apex is gone, it will continue to cut and slice, which is, is excellent. Next thing, access to the lock bar is very good. They give you plenty of room to get in there, disengage that lock, and that's what I like to see. Um, fit and finish, really good. We're centered. Uh, there's no blade play. Actually, there's a little bit right now, but I can work that out. Um, yeah, everything's where you expect it to be. Fitment's good, awesome. The action is really dang good. Kershaw's KVT ball bearings, they're just excellent. They really are. And Kershaw knows how to dial a detent. I think, honestly, I think Kershaw's ability to dial a detent is underrated. Um, because they make so many assisted knives, I guess people just don't think about it. But hot dang. I mean, this thing pops. We, 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 there is one caveat with the action that I'll talk about in a little bit, but Man, that snaps out of there. Very, very good detent. In fact, I'd say the detent is perfect for this knife. So that's really, really good. Um, the carry, this knife carries very well. It's a lightweight knife, it's a slim knife, it's a small knife. I think a lot of people are gonna like that. The pocket clip is reversible and they gave us a filler tab, which is wonderful. I mean, this is not a very expensive knife. And so the fact that they're able to do that a lot of other companies don't have an excuse, right? Give us reversible clips, and if you're worried about messing up the aesthetics on one side, give us filler tabs. I don't think anyone hates filler tabs. Filler tabs are great. Give us more filler tabs. The pot clip itself works well. The clip isn't set to scales. The screws are mushroom screws, but they didn't hinder the knife at all in and out of the pocket. The clip sits on this nice smooth carbon fiber, so it goes in and out really nicely. That is awesome. Um, I really do like this backspacer, G10 backspacer. <sighs> Got a little something in there. Uh, G10 backspacer, yeah. Uh, it's kind of got a geared pattern on it. Really nice. I like how they um, put the lanyard hole in there with the uh, backspacer. Again, just a really nice touch. And I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna mention it again, just the some of the things they do with this handle make this knife feel very premium. This kind of chamfer up here, these lines, the texturing on the G10, um, the carbon fiber insert. I usually don't go for this sticker carbon fiber, and honestly, this is not my favorite thing, but it looks good enough on this knife, right? It looks good enough, so that's really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and move into some complaints. Um, complaint... Uh, number one, like T6 hardware, we don't like to see that, but you know, it's kind of, even though it's par for the course, that doesn't make it right. Um, so I am going to point that out. Next thing, uh, again, the carbon fiber can look a little bit cheap, but uh, I don't think it's a, a huge deal here. One thing I am going to complain about is the flipper tab. For me, and you've probably seen a couple times in this video, it's just a little bit slippery. The jimping is not quite grabby enough. And because the slipper tab slopes like this, you need something to be grippy, right? I like that the scale leads into the flipper tab, but a lot of times when I pull this out of my pocket, I just slip off. I just slip off. If you're deliberate and you pay attention to what you do, yes, it will flick out. It will fire every time. And honestly, this knife works better with a push button. 
uh, than a light switch, but I'm a light switch guy. I always go for a light switch first. So for me, that's a little bit of an annoyance. If I were to carry this every day for the rest of my life, I would adjust to it, right? Um, but that is something to point out. Next thing, I don't like Kershaw's branding. This could have been a lot smaller and up here, you flip it over to this side. I don't think a whole lot of that need to be on here. Tan, yep, tell me that the knife is tan. Okay, appreciate that. Um, just a little bit too much branding. It kind of does take away from the uh, more premium look that the knife was kind of otherwise going for. Next thing, sharpening choil and sharpening, not that great. I have not sharpened this guy yet. I've just kind of been hitting him on the ceramic rods. Uh, I will do a complete resharpening here in a little bit. You can actually, you can even see. You see where the edge is a little more shiny? That's where I've been hitting on uh, ceramic rods. So yeah, we're gonna have to rework this edge. But um, you can see we the, the plunge grind is not uh, pronounced. Uh, we have quite a bit of a flare up back here in the factory sharpening, so uh, yeah. Luckily it's 8CR13, so that won't be hard to fix. Uh, the 8CR13, what do I think about that? I don't hate 8CR13 like a lot of people do. Um, it's not one of my favorite steels, but I don't absolutely hate it. I'm not opposed to it. On this knife here for, you know, under $35, I think it's okay. This knife brings enough to the table that I'm actually willing to give the 8CR a pass. I think everything else about this knife actually makes up for that. So I'm personally not angry about it. Um, so, you know, you might be, but personally, I'm not. Um, and that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and get on to my final conclusions. Final conclusions. This is an amazing knife. Um, I, I'm so glad I finally got to handle one of these. There are several different versions of this knife available. For some reason, the, all the black one is going for like 45 bucks. That's a little bit high in my opinion, but the rest of these 34 95. Yeah. I, I think that's a great deal. You can get the tan one, a green one or a blue one. I think I'm actually gonna be dyeing this one a different color. Maybe a red would look really nice, but really cool knife. Very, very nice design. It's really fun to get a designer like Sinkovich to get one of his designs at an inexpensive price. Um, that's always a good thing. The knife itself is a very functional tool. It performs way better than I was expecting it to. The ergonomics are nice. The blade is great. The design, is not only a looker, but it elevates the knife. It it takes this knife that's a decidedly budget knife and makes it feel a lot more premium, a lot more special. And I think that's that's really, really great. This would be an excellent knife for a beginner, someone who's just getting into the hobby. I can see falling in love with this. A kid, I think this would be a great knife for a kid because obviously it is small. It works out for me, but if you have bigger hands than me, this might be too small for you. Um, still though, this is a knife that I absolutely love. And I gotta say, Kershaw, ah, Kershaw does some really, really cool stuff. I've reviewed a few Kershaws on the channel. I've owned a lot of Kershaws in my life and I've got some Kershaws from when I was a teenager that were kind of their, you know, like holiday pack type stuff. Spring assisted, 2CR, 13 steel. Um, and gosh, a bunch of, there's a bunch of those knives sitting in a box at my parents' place. But maybe I should dig some of those out and, and give them a, a shot because they are fantastic. Kershaw really does know how to make a budget knife. And their, their non-assisted knives are great. Kershaw's KVT ball bearings are just some of the snappiest actions you can get your hands on. And I think that's, I think they're underrated uh, in their manual action. I know this year Kershaw's coming out with things like the Iridium, the Heist, their crossbar lock stuff. I'm really excited to get my hands on some of those newer things, but I'm really glad that I was able to take a look at this kind of classic model um, because yeah, this is a, this is a banger. Do that, does it get a recommendation from me? Absolutely, 100%. I think this is a great knife. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the very best budget knives ever made. And that's even compared to things that are out and about uh, nowadays, new, newer things. I think this is one of the very best budget knives ever made. In fact, this might be a little bit controversial. 
I think this knife is better than the Elementum. Maybe I'll do an edge to edge video, but uh, yeah, I think this is a much better knife than the uh, than the Civivi Elementum, and it's a uh, you know it's more affordable too. So good to see that. Anyways, that's gonna be it from from me today, guys. Really impressed with this knife. Uh, definitely check one out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave it a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon. I hope you have a great day. Until next time, adios.